Um, I, I like this Gruul Aggro deck. This is the one deck that I haven't actually done a video on yet for YouTube. Um, but I'm loving this deck so much. <laughs> And so we're gonna play this real quick. Just try to rank up a little bit more. If if I'm filling up to it, I'll try to get to Mythic if we go for a run. If I lose one, I'm feeling sick enough, I'm probably gonna stop. But like, I've, I've only streamed for an hour. Um, I, I could potentially like get back on a little bit later tonight as well. We'll see. All right, keep this. Ugh, this is an amazing hand. I like it a lot. All right, go Pelt Collector. Uh, we need another red source for the Ember Cleave, but if they play any creature turn one, we get the Domri's Ambush and kill it. Uh, and there's the red source. We're gonna pretend like we're playing mono green for a moment. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Scavenging ooze. Ooh, Rada. Um, I could trade off with the ooze and get in for three points of damage. I can just kill the ooze, get in for six points of damage next turn, or they play something big and we're really annoyed by it. Uh, I think that I'd almost rather hold up the Dombra's Ambush for the next thing. Um, so yeah, we go with haste, we just swing in. Go with haste, young man. All right, and that's what I was thinking. They, they may just let it go through. Uh, so next turn, we'll see here. They could have Primal Might. What's up, Robbie Wasabi? How you doing? Uh, feeling a little bit sick today, but I wanted to get on and do it because I'm I'm uh, sponsored this week. Uh, but I'm probably gonna end up taking a chill day after this uh, and just let myself actually recover so I can do some big days Thursday, Friday. Gem Razor. Yeah, 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 that's cool. So we kill that. Ooh, and Robber of the Rich. Dude, this deck just gets me, you know? It's just like, what do you want? Oh, you want more power? You want more fun? You want to steal their stuff while you're at it? Okay, here you go, deck. It's just... <laughs> I love this deck so much. Uh, yeah, and so we should be able to Ember Cleave and win for the next turn. Basically, no matter what. Yeah, that was probably like the worst draw that we could have them have. And even that doesn't matter. Not one bit. Not one bit. And the Primal Might. Shablamo! Ugh. Mmm. Mmm. And one nice thing too, I actually like playing best of one every once in a while. Like I've been playing this deck best of three for the most part, but it is really nice to just like, the game's over, I didn't gotcha, we're moving on to the next thing. And with Gruul, it's really good. The issue is whenever you are playing, um, when you're on the draw versus the play, cause then you're so under, like, if they had been on the, on the play, we probably would have had a lot harder time playing that one. We had a perfect curve, but still. So it's all just about getting to be on the play versus the draw. That's where best of three comes in, where it's like, okay, people have good sideboards against some decks, and so you're gonna have a less consistency. We have Bone Crusher Giant, but that's all we have. We're totally gonna find green mana, and this is like a perfect hand if we do. Mono Green is trash, dude. I love Mono Green. It's I think it's a really solid deck right now. Uh, is this a mulligan? This is an interesting one. If we find the green source, this curve is glorious. We still have two plays with this one. Um, I under miss. I I don't like Growth Chamber Guardian myself personally. The card draw is absolutely wonderful for sure, but I feel like there's just better things to play. Um, I think we're dropping. Elk Collector here, because we don't get it on turn one anyway. I think I'd rather go Robber the Rich, Dharma's Ambush, and then hope for the Questing Beast. And we get to scry for a land here. Yep, keep it. <laughs> I 
Mono green players are trash. The deck is fine. But not me. Yeah, alright. I see how it is. That's cool. Uh, I think we try to go for stealing their stuff rather than holding back a blocker. Well, hopefully they were stuck on lands. Alright, let's thin out the deck a little bit here. Got nothing else going for us. Um, grab a forest, pass the turn. Your hobby is making Jeff play stupid deck tribal. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Seriously, how many stupid deck uh, tribal decks have I played upon your request? <laughs> I think it's, it's at least more than four. Potentially up to ten. It's somewhere between four and ten. That's all. I don't. I don't actually remember. But it's been a number, and that number is not small. <laughs> all right, questing beast is sweet here. Double Dommer's ambush. As long as questing beast survives, which it's totally going to, nothing could ever go wrong here. I'm terrified. <laughs> Poor brand? Poor brand. Oh yeah, no blocks. So kill you. Kill you. Swing for six. Sweetness. Now even if they have Ember Cleave, it doesn't kill Questing Beast. They can you know, hit it and then maybe Bone Crusher. No, they won't have enough mana. So Bone Crusher Giant can come down as just a blocker for this. So we need to find Ember Cleave. Um, ways to actually close out the game. They look true. Intriguing. Um, and it feels like an Ember Cleave then. So let's go ahead and wait. What am I doing? They they took it. What did I just do? No. Oops. 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 All right. So if they have the Ember Cleave here, we in trouble. If they swing all in though, we block with Bone Crusher and still get to swing in with Questing Beast. Like so, we still played a way to win the game. Um, I just also am stupid. All right. Targets himself for the win. There we go. <laughs> oh man, I did say that I'm I'm sick right now, right? I'm under the weather. I'm I'm not prone to making the best decisions. It's all good. <laughs> I love this deck so much, though. Seriously, Gruel Aggro. So I'm not so much of just a mono green player. I'm a I'm a Gruel player. I like the aggro decks all the time. I am definitely more of like a more aggro player versus control. Uh. And I don't know, that's just, I, I feel a lot happier playing aggro versus control. And so I, I know a lot of people say that it's just a mindless type of thing. And I guess to an extent, right now when I'm feeling sick, I'm wanting to play this instead. Um, but that's just because control feels villainous all the time. And I also don't think it's as good, like, that often. What rude? What is this rudeness? You guys, have you guys seen the show Wicked? This came to my mind. What is this rudeness so sudden and new? That's a lot of lands. Guess we'll take it. Infuriate. Alright, so we have Questing Beast turn 4 guaranteed. Um, I could go for the Dharma's Ambush, just kill something, have a good blocker. Infuriate kills it because of the plus two. And the plus two is annoying on that. Um. Yeah, so it's definitely Girl Spellbreaker. 
And I guess we just pass the turn. We need to keep our life total higher. Let this questing beast win the game. Uh, they're definitely going for Ember Cleave, right? Ah! 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 No! Stop it! <laughs> Don't do that. It's rude. Uh, that's a tough choice. Do they go for the Ember Cleave because it gets it on the battlefield, but they could also just go for a double stomp here. Uh, so the Ember Cleave, if they have another one in hand, they can do it, but these are going away after this. Um, if they can keep a robber alive, then they can potentially get these Bone Crushers back for the next turn. So what it might be, the smartest play is probably to go for Ember Cleave here. Or they go Stomp here, Infuriate here. Yeah, no, I think Ember Cleave here is the smartest play. So they keep a robber on the battlefield so they can just take my bone crushers for next turn as well and be rude. But little did they know that I'm just gonna stop that game plan. We're down to eight. That's really not a good place to be. Um, how can they win? What hasty thing can they play and still equip it? If they have robber the rich, they do six points, so I think that we actually go aggressive here. So down to 11 past the turn. With Questing Beast, we have lethal. Exactly lethal. Phoenix. So swing. Please, oh please swing. Yes. Okay, and now don't have stomp. All right, that's game. This has hexproof. As long as we get to swing. All right, yeah. Yes! Taking down Mono Red twice, my friends. And that was on the draw as well, I believe. Shove Lamo. Ranking up. Doing the thing. All right, I've gotten here before. I've gotten to Diamond Tier 1 already. And then we lost four games in a row. Or three one matches. A best of one and then a one best of three. And it talk, took me all the way down to diamond tier two again. It was rude. So we're just not going to expect anything going into this. You know what? Arena is probably going to just have its way with me. That's fine. And it's, you know, and then it's reverse psychology on them. That's what's going to happen here. Um, this is definitely a keepable hand. I don't, it's not amazing with field passage, but if we do find another land, then the second one is fine. All right. Okay, so Rakdos, not Demonic Embrace. Oh, oh man. Oh boy. Oy. All right. Um, scavenging is could be pretty nice. It might be nice to be able to play that while we can protect it at the same time. All right, go ooze past the turn. <laughs> Everything's gonna have its way with me. <laughs> yep. That's a good quote. <laughs> That's how it feels sometimes. Though. I think we've all been there where it's like, well, Arena did its did its thing. Oh, that's what's happening here. I can see what's happening here. Um. Um, um, um. All right, let's see here. What's the bestest play in the world? I think it's Domri's ambush. Kill that. Swing in for three. We take a bunch and a half, but that's fine. And then questing beats hopefully hits next turn. If not, then lame. If we play Robber of the Rich, they double block and we're dead. So I mean, we have to kill the Scorpion to be able to get damage dealt to their face. But they're also going to gain 
three here. And then if they block, they gain more. Uh, the one nice thing is that Scavenging Goose kind of shuts down their game plan where they just hit for damage like one at a time. If we can start stealing life back here and there, we have a better shot. Uh, they could have like claimed the Firstborns, Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Rudest thing in the world. All right, so Stompy you, Robber you. And then we go swingy at you. And still the mayhem devil. <laughs> yes, please. Down to 16, pass the turn. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Binary Cortex, what's up? You finally caught a stream. Yeah, thanks so much for hopping on. I appreciate it. I really don't know what this was. It was a little bit awkward. Sorry about that. And so much of the damages. So we have Nicol Bolas into Bone Crushy. That lets us fight on the next turn. Yeah, I think we have to kill this rated scorpion again. Um. I, I want to be able to keep swinging in at face. We take another three. So much pain. We get to steal another card. No calls been familiar for you. Breakfast Club, stop this pump. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I have not actually seen Breakfast Club. I have seen clips of it so many times, but I, I that actually is something I need to make sure I Come on. All right, uh, th that's actually really bad. Priest can sacrifice two things. We take four, five, six, and lose a Creech. I don't want to lose a Creech. You know? All right, I think we actually played Pill Collector here as Sacrifice Fodder. Um, so you kill that one. We might need to start just gaining life here. Get rid of some stuff from the graveyard. How much damage can we do? So they're gaining a ton of life. We're going to do um, four seven plus four eleven they're going up to 15 i think that we yeah yeah this ain't great it's definitely not the bestest sacrifice the pelt collector we can still go for lethal on the next turn as well so kill that yeah dead son all right, now we steal some stuff from the graveyard. So, straight scorpion, gain life, gross uh, ooze. Take you back, gross ooze. Now if they have some pretty dead cards. So like, Call uh, of the Death Well are pretty dead. Um, we get to hit in for enough that, I think quest me, ooh, and Call of the Familiar. Right, we'll play that. Gain a little bit more. Yeah, Bastion is rough. At the same time, though, I think that we can still pull this off. Maybe we can't. That's bad. <laughs> if they have a fourth one. Ma'am Devil. Ma'am Devil's fine. So we kill here. Um, how many creatures in the graveyards? All 
All right, so first off, um, in life there, go up to six. We have to kill stuff one at a time. So um, we actually fight here first. So Robber the Rich, let's see here. Um, I guess scavenging goose killing this is fine. Uh, so let's see here. We're actually fine so far. And if we want to swing, we have to, be able to do this. And this is crazy. All right, play this tapped. I guess we could see. If they block the cauldron from there, we get something else to hit. Yeah, block the big boy. Down to one. That is not very high. Nothing else in the graveyards. Well, go to two. Pass the turn. Dude, this is this is insane. Okay, priest comes out. Um Alright, can we do enough damage on the turn? So we have four, five, six, seven, eight. If they block, we die. So what can we actually draw here? I should have I should have sacrificed the robber the rich for one more point of life here. Um All right, well I guess questing be swing in. Is it like our only play? We hope that they, because even if they swing in at us, we're fine. And then if we can swing in for enough on the next turn, uh, the damage from, from this stuff dying happens after combat damage. So if they're dead before that, then that's fine. And so we do actually still have a shot of winning this uh, with Girl Soulbreaker for a little bit of uh, trample damage as well and Questing Beast being able to get through just about anything. So the only thing that kills us here is if they have like village rights. Um, Serrated Scorpion doesn't kill us either. Uh, so let's see if they try going for the swing in. Ooh, and Embercleave, that is absolutely game. All right, so swing in. Yes. I should have just swung with just Questing Beast, but this is fine. Um. Yeah, so I get to do I get to kill on the first strike damage here. Yeah, so whatever. Wait, either way, we did win it. Yeah, putting on the quest use I think was better. We did win with scavenging use getting it as well. Although the trigger from uh, Priest Forgotten Gods would have come first, and then doing some other stuff. Either way, that still worked out. All right, we're definitely not going to pay attention to the fact that one more one gets us to Mythic. I don't even want to think about it. I'm not, I, you guys aren't thinking about it. I'm not thinking about it. It's just going to, we're just going to play this like normal. So it's all good, right? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> don't tell anybody. <laughs> you didn't see anything. And we're definitely not going to focus on it being an amazing hand. That would just be weird. Don't read chat. Yeah, Devin, stop talking to me. Stop it. <laughs> uh, it is an amazing hand, but maybe not against Rakdos Sack or Mono Black or anything like that. Aha! In response. Just gonna do this. 
All right, we have a lot of lands. I'm actually going to focus on trying to get to uh, Rada almost more than just... Okay, yeah, we definitely kill that. That is the thing that we do. We do do the do. We kill the food. Yeah, that's what... <clears throat> Witch's Oven. All right. Um, so, Mono Black, we have a much higher chance of again than... Um, ooh, we could go for Pell Collector into Paradise Druid and then Rada. I think we need to make sure lands stay off the top of our deck. So, Rada. Going wide isn't bad either. How does Paradise Druid actually help us here? If we find like a Terror of the Peaks off the top, this would be really, really nice. Um, it also lets us play, like if there is another land off the top, we can play Rada and then immediately play it. So I mean, playing, yeah, playing Rada on turn three gets a little bit less value than later. Uh, and then we also have Fable Passage to kind of change what's on the top of our deck if we want to. So a, a few things we can do here. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, Strider. Whoa, that's not cool. It is another land. Why are there all the lands? All right, grow the collector. I think they'd be willing to trade that with Woe Strider anyway. Ember Cleave off the top. That's not bad. Uh, no attacks past the turn. So we can play... How much mana do we have here? Can I grow the Pelt Collector before swinging in is the question. The first strike already protects Rada pretty well. Um, so I think that we just swing in with both of these and we put it onto Pelt Collector. Be willing to pay four and then hopefully just get a land off the top or something as well. Mayhem Devil. All right, they get how much damage here? Not a small amount. Sack one. Collector. Rude. Two. Brings it back. Three. Down to twelve. All right, I don't want Fave, uh, Paradise Root off the top. We need to find something like Terror of the Peaks. Oh, right. Forgot about that. I guess it's better to get it out of the way now. Um, Raking Claws is interesting as well. All right, swinging with Rada. Uh, I also just have the pump to get an, a bit more damage that way as well. All right, so we do Ember Cleave. We hit for a smidgen. Four toughness is a lot harder for them to kill this than other stuff. Um, Breaking Claws, we might end up just like cycling away. We can go Bone Crusher, and if we do pump it on Bone Crusher, it's good, but we also have to take two. And if they could just keep sending damage at face, we're gonna be dead at some point here. And that's sad. Uh, they don't have food. Definitely not paying attention to, uh... No! 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 Stop it! Don't hurt me so like this. Uh... Okay, who said that it was the next... Uh, this is the last game before Mythic? Who was it? Dang Devin. Always Devin. <laughs> oh, man. I mean... This is what Rakdos does. The claim the firstborn is so good. How did it, how did it feel to lose my firstborn? Uh, 
Yeah, it's not the greatest. <laughs> totally Devin's fault. Come on, undead Thuggernaut. You know it's you. <laughs> All right. So I could go for best of three and one game could win it, or we have to do a lot more work after it. I think we're just gonna keep going for this. Uh, by the way, thanks for the follows, everybody. Crazy Canuck, uh, Harrowing Harvey, Binary Cortex, Nox Tempest, and uh, the Rida. We have a couple of people. Anyway, thanks you guys so much for the follows. I appreciate it. Um, ooh. I always love having Dharma's Ambush on turn two. Pell Collector without anything else is a little bit in interesting, but we do have three mana to get to Questing Beast. I think we were on the play as well. I forgot. I always forget to remember that. We were on the play. Which means a turn four creature on the play is a little bit better. Especially with a bit of interaction. A smidgen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got him. The fool thinks he can stop this. No. Nay, I say. Alright, pass the turn. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Alright, uh, against Mono Green, basically, if we do resolve the Terror of the Peaks, we should win the game. That's how this goes. Um, swing in. Do the dirty. Play this tap to pass the turn. In fact, we may even not pull up throughout the Questing Beast, just so. Never mind. Uh, we actually probably throw out the quest piece just to trade off here. They could kill the pelt collector, but I think that's fine. So questing beastly. Yeah, swing with both. Kills the pelt collector. Takes it down to 12, past the turn. Again, we're just going for damage output. If they swing in, we kill the Pelt Collector. All right, this has been a, a number of lands and the number is not a healthy number. Okay, no attacks past the turn. Stop it. If we find more lands, I'm gonna be a little bit frustrated. Okay, something big. Something massive. It's gonna be another Pelt Collector. Um, Ember Cleave on Questing Beast is still too good of a draw. We'll take it for six. Stop it! Alright, that's good. Alright, swing in. Um, can we survive this, actually? No, we, we have to block. Dang it, come on, deck. Stop doing this to me. Oh, wait, no, Questing Beast can't swing in. Um, so they swing for six plus six. If they have anything else to get this bigger, scavenging can grow up to. Okay, just one more. So I guess we do swing in. Um, that gives us lethal for next turn, I believe. We get six plus five, which is 11. I could have pumped. That's fine, pass the turn. Oh, this is so crazy. Oh man, all right, so now what? That's too much, that's lethal. All right. I mean, I guess we wait to see if they actually swing in with everything. We still have exactly lethal. It's an awkward play. It's definitely better to put onto one of these guys. Um, yeah, we're dead. Gosh dang it. That was a lot of lands. See, this is what happens. You get so close and then and then you get uh what was it? Arena has its way with you again. And you just feel violated. Just like, no, 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 that's not cool. We were doing the thing. And then they say, nah, you can't do the thing. The thing is not to be done by you. All right, we have cycling to try to dig for red. And so a lot of green stuff, good curve. We'll definitely keep it. 
Murdoch Nichols. Um, teamer, teamer what? I think Bant even plays uh, Teamer Lancer in there as well. Oh, that's bad. All right, well, we're just going for as much aggro as possible. Down to 18, past the turn. They may have kept a hand that had Lucky Clover, but not much else. That's the dream. Clearly with the case, too. Um, well, this is awkward. All right, swing in. Okay. So bouncing both here. Uh, we're going to have how many cards in hand? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Raking Claws can replace itself. Raking Claws can be really good for us in this hand too, where it's like, it's basically our version of Embercleave. Um, we replay the Scoos past the turn. Don't root for the other team, Rainbow Perfection. Rude. All right, so they can flash and brazen bar or draw two cards. Also rude. Um, we play Pelt Collector into Robber of the Rich. Try to steal, so they just, I mean, killing an edge while keeper is pretty nice too. Um, So they, they only draw one card with this. Yeah, they play it out, that's fine. Draw two cards. We swing in. This can only block other flyers. Down to 16, past the turn. Not hitting lands. We're a little bit behind here. We're a little bit more behind here. I would love to be able to kill the keepers. Just isn't a thing I can actually do. Um, these guys don't even steal anything. I guess it's still the play though, just because they're hasty and we need to get their left to the lower. I'm not even sure this one, this game is worth staying in. Missing another land up there was really brutal. Uh, we are going to go ahead and just gain the life for the sake of gaining life here. Um, yeah, they've had everything. If we draw a land off the top and we get to start swinging with Questing Beast and like potentially get to Embercleave, we're going to stay in it. Um... Questing Beast with Raking Claws even is decent. Yeah, no land, we scoop. Oh, come on, Gruel. The Gruel grind is annoying. All right, we're going again. Arena is definitely having its way with me. Yeah, it's these matches like that where it's like, yeah, mana flooded, mana star. We had amazing hands. Uh, we run up against people that have like the perfect draws that do great against my stuff. 
I mean, which that's gonna happen. I'm fine losing a couple. It's always just the inconsistency or whatever. All right, I mean, three Bone Crusher Giants with Domri. That's an amazing hand, right? That should be able to do lots of stuff. I, I think we keep it. I'm fine trying to find lands after the fact. Like, this is should be a winning hand for us. Seventeen times out of three, this wins it for us. They're gonna have the shock. They're gonna have it all. People don't even play shock anymore. They're gonna have it. Down to eighteen. What are they holding up? Steamykin. Look at little steamykins. All right, uh, I think we actually go Domri here. Domri uh, kill. This way we get to have double stomp for the next turn. Um, and we get the still, so then we have a little bit more mana to try to see what we want to do with it. Grim Initiate is nice. I guess I should have attacked in first to see if they went for the block. So I, I did make a, a little mistake there. Because we could have uh, ramped up and tried to play this other stuff. A Scorch Spitter. And the Stompy. Rude? Okay, Field of Passage. Grab um, another Forest, I guess, because we have Mountain in hand. Stompy the U. Play the U. Yep. I like this hand. This is this is what we like to be doing. Oh man, look at that champion. He's so fervent. Do we care about that? He gets in for one. They have to cast a spell to make it worthwhile. So I think that we take it. He's not even going for light at the stage and going face. So like, this is fine. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. okay. We do take a bit for doing this, but that's fine. All right, so ambush. I should have used the mana there so I could hold up more here. Um. I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. So yeah, I, I should have held up the stomp a little bit differently there. That's fine. Swing in for six. Hold up another stomp. Life is grand. Pass the turn. Ah ha ha. The light up. Light him up, 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 light him up. Swing at Domri. Annex can be a little bit annoying, but I think that, yeah, we just, we just keep going all in. Uh, Robber the Rich is sweet here. Is that lethal? That is lethal. Yes. <laughs> Whew, all right. Well, we're taking down Mono Red all day long, which is really nice. All right, we're going to keep going. Keep the grinding rolling. There is something we said about going into best of three here. Just because, like, I feel like you only need... Uh, like, if we drop back down to zero wins, in, or like a... Uh, um, then, then we'll go to best of three because I think best of three I have a higher chance of like going for a three game winning streak and just getting there All right um, Potential turn three questing beast into turn four ember cleave Steven spellbreaker is fine here I don't think that we play the other Paradise Druid, though. I guess we could and swing, maybe. It's a lot of Paradise Druids.
So if they go for Teferi next turn, so I think it's Paradise Druid. Teferi does absolutely nothing to these guys. Uh, if we get the Questing Beast, it's sweet. I could just swing in. We still have potential of hitting a land. And then what? Spellbreaker's fine as well. Let's get the damage rolling. Down to 18 past the turn. Omen. Uh, Omen. All right. Um, Yorion might be in the main board then. I love how I try to read so much into a turn two play. Their deck is obviously this. I can know everything about it. I was not expecting Jeskai. I know nothing about this hand. Deafening Clarion. Oh my gosh. Not like this. No. Come on. Sahili. All right. Uh, we can actually kill Sahili with Spellbreaker. Questing Beast, we have to tap this down. Um, or do we just go damage at phase? I, mean, I guess Questing Beast is still fine. It dodges Sunboard stuff. If they do board wipe, we get Rule Spellbreaker to swing in as well. Basically kill Sahili, they might get one creature out. Which all of our stuff pretty much goes around it. And this still gives us potential for the Embercleave play. What's the the deck the professor's running? I don't know. Is he streaming right now as well or something? Alright, this feels like a counter spell of some sort. I could go for uncounterable spellbreaker. I mean Embercleave, if it lands, is game, right? So we swing all in. No, because they'll get a blocker. We don't want to lose the Paradise Druid. Swing in. Um Yeah, that's fine. Can't deal with that. I could get Embercleave out, but I guess not. Don't counter it. What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. All right, with the counter, we dodge Death and Clarions at least. And it's another good target for the Embercleave. All right, so this might be like a Kai Kar deck as well. Like Sahili Kai Kar, maybe just straight up um, the new Narset. Um, a bunch of other stuff. Love the shirt. Hey, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Definitely Clarion, no blocks. I see what's happening here. I know how this goes. I mean, it might also just be board wipe. But if we get to dodge the Definitely Clarion, that's at least happy. All right, that is potentially game. Really close to game. All right, so we can actually do this. So red mana here. Come and destroy. Stomp the one one. And then Raking Claws. See, this is where Raking Claws comes in. Raking Claws gave us the win where, I guess, oh wait, I get the plus one, plus one. So Embercleave did it as well, but either way, we win. All right. Sorry, I was thinking he was still at five power. With Embercleave, it does get plus one, plus one. Uh, but that's where I like the Raking Claws is if you don't end up having the double reds, sometimes you can do a little bit more interesting things with it. 
Uh, I, I just find it really fun to play with Raking Claws. Oh, I forgot I had the fight as well. So I had a few ways to do it, I guess. There we go. <laughs> I right, see you, Dapper Dan, man. Thanks for hopping on. Have a good one. Yeah, hopefully we'll get there. I was trying to do it before you left, man, but... Just couldn't pull it together. All right, Pell Collector, Fable Passage, Pell Collector. Um, hopefully something amazing. See you, Great Bender. Have a good one. Everyone's leaving me. All right, Serrated Scorpion. Not the bestest. Oh, whoa. Kick the puppy? How can we even play against this person? Oh, this is a bad matchup. That's a decent draw. If they do have the sacrifice outlet, it's a little bit annoying, but like... We get to swing in, keep damage rolling. If we get to the questing beast with bodies on the battlefield so it doesn't die and then ember cleave that's the game so yeah temple of abandon pelt collector field passage questing beast hopefully hit the land for the ember cleave or keep enough creatures that we can do it Luris. Ooh, i was not expecting that so they're not going to sacrifice here um temple of abandon That's the land for the Ember Cleave play. Swing for six. You're about to leave work? <laughs> yeah, that's where you always watch. You never watch me when you're actually at home. Lame. <laughs> All right, so down to 10, they get some life gain, but that's fine. Um, with questing bees coming, yeah, so priest, sack two, they get to replay the straighted scorpion as ghost form. Actually, now they swing in, swing in, sack these two, and then replay the straighted scorpion. That's pretty good. That's a lot of life gain. Luckily, we've got the questing beast, though. Yeah, he definitely had a good hand here. Uh, we'll keep the Pelt Collectors. I mean, sorry, the Robber the Rich. Pelt Collector does get bigger and can actually swing through. But... Gotta do what we gotta do. Yeah, so there's definitely a more efficient way to play that turn. I'm fine with the way he did it. Uh, we are pretty close to just dying to I don't think they can pull together in one turn unless they have like mayhem devil on top all right so questing beast do I swing all out yeah I guess so swing with everything So I'm hoping that they're running things like Claim the Firstborn, like things that don't steal the Questing Beast. Like Questing Beast is a little bit harder for this deck to actually deal with. Sacrifices, creates a food. We go down to seven. We get to replay it and do it again with this. And one from hand. Ooh, that's bad. That's really bad. All right, how close are we to just dead? One, two, three, four, five, six. We go to one. Sack here. Anonymous gifter gifting uh, tier one sub. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Gifting it to Moipaz. Thank you, thank you. Ah, that's game. We don't have enough damage. That was an amazing hand.
Yeah, unfortunately we can't do this yet. Good game. Um, yeah, even if we had the pump there, yeah. So they have it there. Yeah, I know, right? Definitely an evil overlord. That was one of the most disgusting hands I've ever seen from then. We had we had a good hand as well, but that was just busted. Uh, hey, what's up? How are you doing? Yeah, nice draws and good hand. All of the things that were good there. Um, we were also, were we on the play or the draw? I can't remember. Man, I, I'm not a huge fan of Paradise Druids in this deck. I'd almost rather run like one more land and something better to get to. Cause like I like Paradise Druid being able to get to, like Questing Beast on turn three is way better than Questing Beast on turn four. At the same time though, it's just kind of meh. A stomping ground tap, pass the turn. In fact, we may even throw this out just as like trying to kill the Knight of the Evil Legion. I guess they have the pump. Um, who ambush is really nice. Yeah, we just go for Robber the Rich, swing in. No removal, please. Of course. A couple of wilts? Nah. Not in main board. Maybe sideboard you can have some wilts, but I'd rather run Jam Razor before wilts, uh, wilts for sure. All right, this is the Mono Black Embrace deck. So worst case scenario, they actually have the Embrace. I don't think there is a good case here. We've just drawn the wrong stuff. If we find Questing Beast, we have a shot. If they have, mono, if they have the Demonic Embrace right here, which obviously they're gonna have everything. Uh, we just take it. We need mana. Yeah, if that was Questing Beast, we had a shot of being able to like chump block with one, take a bunch, Domri's ambush, kill the other one, and then have like, yeah, but with two of them out, we're just dead. Let's go with, uh, do we change up the deck? Do we go to best of three? I just want to get there. I feel like in best of three, I like um, the Gruul deck better. The Mono Black Embrace, Embrace definitely has helped a lot. I've, I think I've done better with my Gruul Aggro deck overall. Mono Green is also a good way to go. Yeah, so all we if we get two match wins here, we got it. If we lose one, then it's just three. This is a little bit awkward. I think I'd rather make sure that I get Robber the Rich into Gruel Spellbreaker than just hitting the Pell Collector. Because I mean we can play Pell Collector with Domri later on turn four if we don't hit land. So I think it's Castle Embreath first here. Pass the turn. Robert the Rich, swing in, steal some cards, steal something amazing. That's fine. Growth Chamber. I don't think that they go for the trade here. Um, even if they do though, they lose the value of being able to pump this and then we could potentially get some other stuff out of it. So yeah, they go for the trade. That's fine. Down to 15. I'm not sure if that was the right trade to go for. Whoa, scooped game one. All right. Um, Rook's Harbinger. Scorching Dragonfire? 
I'm not quite sure yet what we're up against. That was a really weird hand. Maybe it's like Garuk at the very least. Garuk is going to be pretty decent here. Maybe a Clothus. No, no Clothus. All right, we'll go like this. Sometimes it gets mid-range decks too. Like, uh, I like bringing in the Terror of the Peaks. So let's check this out. What are we cutting here? Let's drop one Pell Collector. I, again, the Paradise Druids I like. We do need them if we're going to uh, increase the cost of our deck. But I think this is fine. And no counter spells that we saw yet, so drop one Domri past the turn. Yeah, jumping into best of three now. Get a little bit more out of the uh, stuff. So getting game one is sweet. We definitely are better on the draw. Uh, but this is a good hand, so we're keeping this. Pelt Collector into Paradise Druid, into Goblin or Ooze, or I guess the Harbinger. Harbinger would be pretty sweet. We could like rank it up to where like we can make sure the Pelt Collector gets to four by going Goblin and then Harbinger. Or now Harbinger into Questing Beast, that would be sweet. Yeah, I don't think we go aggro. We've already seen they're playing creatures, and so we protect. We try to go more for the ramp, uh, ramp into bigger stuff. Try to get to the tempo or the mid-range things. Okay, harbinger of their own. All right, Zerta Goblin on three. Um, this lets us swing in. We'd love to get rid of this so that we can get in with Resting Beast. Damage is fine as well. Pass the turn. Resting Beast is cheating. Yeah, a little bit. It's a really good card. Let's see if they have theirs. The other thing too is like, uh, if creatures do go to the graveyard, Scavenging Goose gets a lot better. Um, that's something that can block bigger things. All right, go for Mountain. Another Fable Passage. All right, so five mana. I can go Harbinger and Ooze, be able to pump a bunch maybe the next turn. If we go for Questing Beast, actually I think that we actually want to stomp the Guardian now. So yeah, Swing Swing, from the tail side of my heart. We'll get it for six. I guess playing the creature there would have been better to get Pell Collector up to four. Um, but I could go for Scavenging Goose here as well. That way we get to hold up Paradise Druid still for protection. Um, and this can't really attack in. Because we've already showed that we're willing to trade off with it. Yeah, there we go. All right, one game down. Ah, so close. You wonder what's going to get the ban? I think um, Uro. Like, honestly, Uro needs to get the ban, probably more than anything else. Um, Uro right now, I think, is played in 49% of decks in standard. Which is a bummer, because I love the card, but it's it's too busted. It really is. Um, I think if Uro was gone, it would actually even out so much of gameplay. I, I really don't think like much else has to go away. 
Um, like other things would be nice as well. All right, this is definitely keepable. All right, turn three questing beast. I guess kind of. I should have switched that up. Okay, there we go. Unpunished. Go for the Drew. Throw a spiral. Okay. All right. We get to go Questing Beast. If they don't have removal, then we go Ember Cleave onto Questing Beast. Um, and we have a hasty creature that can equip onto it the turn after in case there is a board wipe of some sort. So Nissa is definitely the worst possible thing. But that doesn't deal with the Questing Beast either. So as long as we get the Ember Cleave down, we just keep hasty creatures that can I get down, equip, and hit in, and we should be able to win. So if we get the game won, oh, rude. So rude. All right, well, robber. We shock now so that we can get a steal. Ooh, yeah, no casualties of war for you. I like that. They might still have one in hand though. All right, where are they at? They're at seven. If they found the Ugin, we're in a lot of trouble. Um, I can kill the Krasis with Embercleave, but then we lose Robber the Rich as well. Um, but if we get Embercleave on the battlefield again, we still have a shot. Ooh, Nissa. That's interesting. Now they're thinking if I just played. Yeah, I, I can't kill it and play Nyssa, unfortunately. So we still go for Embercleave and we just have Nyssa for late game. Like that, that lets me want to play late game a little bit more. Because, I mean, that does beat Ugin somewhat. If we can find a Rob the Rich, play a Nyssa. Yeah, submission plays. All right, so land here is the best. We still get um, Spellbreaker with just Raking Claws as well. So we get in for six. All right, six. Land gives us uh, answer against removal. Casualty of the war is still bad though. If they have the Ugin, no Ugin. What else could it be? Hey, extinction event. All right, land. Give me land. Give me untapped land. <laughs> Dang it. Um, I actually might throw down the Bone Crusher Giant instead. Now. If Ugin comes down and does negative three, all right, so we put that to the bottom. We need a Bone Crusher, or Questing Beast also is decent. Like we could potentially find Questing Beast still. Um, so yeah, I think we go Bone Crusher Giant off the top here. Again, I'm trying to actually win this match and they're gonna have interaction stuff. Qu Girl Swallow here gets in for damage, but doesn't actually do enough. So, yes, okay. Ooh, all right, 
I don't know how they still didn't get interaction there. So now we bring in Harbinger. We bring in... Uh, we take out all the removal stuff. It is really nice to be able to have some things, but we just go full on aggro. Um, Shifting Ceratops comes in as well. And then Clothus. Maybe Heroic Intervention. Okay. And maybe Garouk. Uh, let's trim this down a little bit. So Bone Crusher Giant becomes worse. Um, we did make it more expensive, so Paradise Druid is nice here. Pell Collector I really don't want in the late game. Um, Domri is less good. It doesn't hit Aether Gust. So the only reason we'd have it is for the pump. And I feel like I'd rather have the Clothus. Um... Any reason to keep one other Bone Crusher Giant in here? I don't think so. I think that that's how we run it. Okay. All right, this is a hard matchup. We'll see how it goes. Uh, were we on the draw that time as well? Or were we on the play? I don't remember. So two games to try to win this one. We were on the draw last game. Sweet. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really remember. Well, can't keep that hand. Mole beginning. Can't keep that hand. No. No deck, no. Alright, keep that. Um, I guess Harbinger is a pretty good card if we get to it and get the swing. Ah, dang it. Dude, I Arena is just having its way with me today. It is rough. Sounds so dirty. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, so if they have the Aether Guest here, we're in a lot of trouble. If they have like Brazen Bar or whatever, um, if it is Black Removal, then we have a shot. Guru can come in, pump it for this turn, and then if we hit land, we get to Guru pump and Ember Cleave, which would be like busted. All right, that's cool. Rude. Garuk is still a pretty decent play here, though. Um, so we, we forced Teferi to actually do the phase out. Okay. And then we Garuk. Uh, negative two. Pass the turn. I like animals better we actually than might win going down to four. I've never... I don't think I've... I don't think I've ever won a game mulliganing to four. Maybe one time. Okay, Nissa is annoying, for sure, but we get the Embercleave pump here. So what I'm hoping is that they actually try swinging in with this uh, land. I, I, I guess actually maybe not. Okay, yeah. Ooh, Terror of the Peaks as well. Just give me everything, why don't you? All right, sweet. Um... Pump onto the Harbinger. What's up? How you doing? Yeah, it has been a long time. Um, all right, so seven. A stampede of one. They get to, uh, let's see here. Do I need to kill Nissa is the question. If they have Ugin, then we absolutely need to. All right, so swing, swing. Is this whenever it hits a creature or a planeswalker? Sweet. Or a player or a planeswalker, I mean. 
They're letting it all through. Oh, that's cool. All right, draw a card. Now we get to play Terror of the Peaks. Okay, Questing Beast. Yeah, we play Terror. I know I, Board Wipe is terrible here. Extinction Event could be annoying on, um, on odds. And then they can just get to kill here. So yeah, Extinction Event is definitely the worst thing. Maybe I should have played Questing Beast just to have um, something stay on the board. Shocks it in. Another Nissa. All right, that I can handle. This is fine. Land gives us Questing Beast into Embercleave if we don't block anything. Or, uh, yeah, if we get to swing with everything. Which does four points of damage to one of the lands. So, yeah, land off the top, I think, is our best draw. No attacks. Yes! So very much yes. All right, so... Questing Beast. Give it Trample, I think. Um, actually, I think we throw it at face because Questing Beast gets... So it gets up to 7, 8. So we get to do 16 just with that. Uh, they can only block 2 points of damage with it. So yeah, we actually, we got there. This is the path to Mythic, my friends. Yes! Oh, we get to do it. All right, so all attack in at face. And I'm just gonna go, go ahead and show them it now. Oh wait, no, they still have mana up. Okay, that was, uh, I should have waited a little bit longer. I forgot that they still had four mana available. Um, all right, that could have been scary. Either way though, we did it. We got to Mythic. Oh, whoa, anonymous gift with with five tier one subs. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, so enjoy your emotes. Yem, blah, blah, blarg, uh, communist party, Inca Haas and Mad Meath Loft. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the uh, for the gift subs. And that brings us over 100 subs. So we get some more uh, emotes and stuff to you. Thank you so much. Oh man. I forgot that they still had four Oops. man. Yeah, saw your clip. I'm going to share that later. Thank you so much. Dude, we got it. We did it. We got to Mythic. Whew. That feels good. <laughs> uh. It's nice to actually get there, you know, like it, once I'm in Mythic, I've very seldomly like had to get back to it. Like I like even if I'm playing my jankier stuff, I usually do OK as long as I like occasionally play a good deck because Mythic is about as difficult to play in as Diamond and, and Platinum. I, I, I see almost no difference between the two, except like people play better decks more consistently to an extent. Like sometimes in Mythic, people actually bring out the jankier decks more often as well. <laughs> get to uh, 420 or 69 and stop yep <laughs> yep exactly uh <laughs> all right let's actually see what we have say my name thanks so much for the cheers thank you oh man i, I sorry I, I should like move on to the next little thing here but this is this is just too beautiful i can't really can't really stop this this is just mm, mm, i love it i have to edit the uh stream info we hit mythic Actually, I'm, I'm probably going to be ending up uh, end up finishing the stream here. Uh, all right, let's see what rank we're actually at in Mythic. Uh, I think it automatically puts you into a placement when you get in, which is why why if you're towards the end, then it'll bring you down later. So hey, sixty nine six. There you go. That's kind of sixty nine, right? <laughs> oh man. Best streamer so far. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, 
All right, that was awesome. That was fun. Got to Mythic 69 and 6. <laughs> Close enough for sure. <laughs> oh, man. Again, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Uh, we got up to 104 subs. Uh, we have been crushing it here on Twitch. I'm almost to 2,000 followers as well. So if you haven't followed, hit the love button. Give me some love, you know? <laughs> uh, and yeah, so we're almost to 2,000 followers. Um, Street, uh, Wizards of the Coast has been, been sponsoring me right now. My YouTube channel has been taking off like crazy, which has been awesome. If you guys haven't also subbed there, um, I, I just really hit 26,000 subscribers um, and I'm getting close to like a million views a month right now uh, well like I'm, I'm the rate I'm going it'll be around there so and life is just this is awesome all the hard work is paying off shouting slot thank you so much and the hype train is going yes thank you <laughs> uh, so yeah so yeah I, I just I just I, I just have to say thank you guys uh, so much for sticking through all this because I've been I've been working really hard to try to be uh, able to create good content and do lots of stuff for you guys. Uh, and it's been awesome that it's actually paying off. Um, I was able to finally go full time with this. Um, I someone I knew needed work with uh, the other job I was doing to subsidize doing, you know, YouTube and editing and everything like that. And I ended up passing that job off to someone else. And so it's really cool to be able to kind of get to this point, be able to do good stuff. Sorry, I didn't plan for speech at this moment, but speech. And I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. Uh, love you, dude. Thanks so much for the tier one sub as well. The hype train is still going. Yes. Um, and yeah, so I, I'm I'm hoping now to get to Mythic every single time. I'm I'm trying to do streams Monday through Friday. I'm producing ten videos a week right now. Blah blah Varg with another five gifted subs uh, to Soulless Flame. Say my name, uh, Abukamola, <laughs> Linebacker J, and Top Cat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, guys, enjoy your emotes. Uh, yeah, so we got all these emotes as well. I'm hoping to get more emotes coming soon. A uh, bunch of fun stuff. Um, <laughs> Rainbow, with the crying, I'm just it's just. It's just too much to handle, guys. This is too awesome. <laughs> no, seriously, though, it's been awesome. Uh, baby coming along the way as well. I have my uh, literally um, like three weeks away from having baby number two come. Um, going full time with it. Yeah, this is this has just been a crazy time in my life, and it's all just kind of ramping up and, and doing really well. Um, in the midst of all this, I also left the church that I grew up in. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> Just all sorts of crazy stuff happening. And yeah, life is good. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for the whispers as well and everything. Anyway, thank you guys. Um, you are all so awesome. I really appreciate it. Uh, we'll go ahead and end, end, end it here. I know the hype train is still going and everything, but I, I, I have been feeling sick today as well. You think it's cool to make you cry? I do. I keep doing it. That's why we do this. Yeah. If you actually, if you want to cry, go watch Hamilton. If you guys haven't yet on Disney Plus, Hamilton is one of my favorite shows of all time, and I cried like a baby during it. It's really good. <laughs> anyway.